All right, it's Monday afternoon. It's Eric. It's Arnold. It's Big. It's E. It's back in the barn. Recapping our Sunday NFL and then uh, getting you your Monday night football pick as well as a couple bonus college basketball picks. Uh, so what did we learn here this Sunday? Uh, well, let's 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 get to it. We broke even. Uh, you know, it, it, we had nine picks and one of them pushed, so four, four, and one. Um, the Browns, <laughs> you know, as I was picking one of the games, it dawned on me. It's like. You know, you just bash the Cardinals for not covering in a spot there that's going to put them in the playoffs. And you're saying, well, if I had to pick a team that shit themselves, it'd be like the Browns. It's like, yep, sure enough. Uh, uh, you know, it's a COVID pick. You know, it's a COVID pick. You know, it's, it's, we're taking a guess. I have no idea how losing four wide receivers 36 hours before a kickoff, you know, how that affects a team. I guess it affects it negatively, especially when the team's stupid enough to try to throw the ball. It's like, what are you guys doing? I, I'm going to have to watch the replay of that game because they lost by a touchdown. Mayfield threw the ball over 50 times. That makes no sense at all to me. None. None. It's like, let's play to our weakness, minimize our strength. Uh, way to go, French general. You know, smart. Good job. Uh, so, you know, the, the Browns. Uh, lose. Now I guess they, I didn't check all the permutations of what knots and who has is of it, but I think Browns now have to beat the Steelers basically to get in, <laughs> which I think, you know, is, is a uh, perfect for the Browns. You know, I think that's just perfect. Oh, and then if you want to see another team, you know, the Jets, I, you know, everybody's laughing at them. I think Darnold, is just okay. You know, he's just fine. They don't need to move on from him. If they can keep him upright and healthy, you know, build an offensive line in front of him so he doesn't get killed. Uh, I don't know they need Trevor Lawrence that bad. So, you know, it, it, the fact that Jets have won a couple games, Jets fans, I don't think that's the end of the world for you guys. Uh, hell, in Philadelphia, we'd love to have some wins at the moment. So you guys are mad because you're winning. Uh, eh, let's see, Bengals, they, they helped us out. They did what we had hoped they would do. There's uh, yeah, there's some uh, young players there that want to play down in Cincinnati, quarterback or no quarterback. So young, enthusiastic coach. Uh, you know, the sun could be rising in Cincinnati. So that was a win. Uh, you know, there's a reason we bash Philip Rivers here in the barn. Uh, you know, there'll be times when I'll be, like, feeling guilty. It's like, oh, he seems like a pretty nice guy, and I just shit on him at every opportunity. So you give him a chance yesterday, and sure enough, I mean, the guy builds a 24-7 lead and can't hold it, uh, which probably is going to hurt the Colts pretty badly. It might knock him out of the playoffs altogether. Uh, that was disappointing, and I blame Rivers. It's like, you got to be able – to move the ball a little bit there in the second half when Pittsburgh's raining down on you. You got to be able to move the ball and break their momentum just a little bit. Well, he couldn't. So that was a disappointing now. We kind of, Christ, you're up, you know, you're up almost three scores and you're thinking, I'm going to win this one. And, and then all of a sudden the momentum's just uh, uh, running down the hill on you and you're like, oh boy, I hope I can hold it. I hope we can hold it. And we didn't. Uh, Jaguars, that was a nail. That was just, I don't know what that was. Uh, the, uh, the Bears, I guess, suddenly are better than what they were at midseason. They've suddenly got an offense. Uh, so that, was, that one just never fired. Chiefs, same deal. I mean, let's put it this way. <laughs> I saw a little of the highlights of this game, and I may experiment at some point, you know, before I die, with live betting because – you know, it's just, I have no data, I have no studies uh, to uh, back up my hunch on this, but I think it'd be okay at live betting just because it just feels like, you know, the hunches you get are right. And, uh, you know, you just, let's put it this way it's fourth and one, 
you got the most powerful offense in the league. You're facing a 11 point underdog at home. You line up and do some kind of little dance where the whole backfield does a little spin around. They shake it all about. That's how you do the hokey pokey. It was crazy. So then they run the run to the side while we sneak the quarterback out the back door play that's featured in every bad football movie ever made. Uh, Varsity Blues, uh, uh, The Water Boy, uh, uh, some uh, Friday Night Lights, where the quarterback, of course, in the bad football movies, he's always wide open down the sideline. Well, you know, everyone's all seen these bad football movies. So, of course, Patrick Mahomes has a guy stapled to him. And all that complicated foo-faha when all you had to do is just smash it up the middle with your powerful offensive line, get the first down, take care of business, go up 7 nothing. You know, as soon as I saw that, I thought, well, it's fuck around time here for Andy Reid and the Kansas City Chiefs. And sure enough, they barely get the win. They probably didn't deserve it. They get the win far short of the cover. So, you know, it... it, it Clearly, I was wrong there in thinking Andy wanted to tune somebody up. It's still screw-around time for Andy Reid. So that was a disappointing now. So the 1 o'clock game is bad. Then we got, uh, then we got it going. Uh, the Chargers, they get a hard-fought uh, field goal win. I got a push on that, but it looked like if anybody was, well, I guess I saw a new word, tailing me, tailing me, I guess it means playing the stuff I play. Uh, you probably won because that line moved to two and a half, some places two, uh, where you would have uh, covered that. I don't know why that number moved in Denver's favor, but it did. Uh, so the Chargers, they get the win. I get a tie. You probably got a win. Uh, the Cowboys, much the best over the Eagles. That one went almost identically the way I said it would in that the Eagles have holes all over that team. And... You know, Jalen Hurts is able to patch over a little bit of it, uh, but he can't fix it all by himself. And then he didn't play well either. So uh, that was an easy win for the Cowboys. Uh, the Panthers, pretty easy winner over Washington. Uh, I just saw just now, I was alerted to the fact that Dwayne, our boy Dwayne Haskins from Ohio State, uh, he's been cut. Uh, just, I guess that's, I, I, I need to read more about that. Who did that? I, is that Rivera? Did that come from uh, Snyder? Uh, yeah, Dwayne Haskins is one of us. And he helped us win some games at Ohio State. He was never a number one pick. It, it, the guy was never as good as his... Uh, uh, predecessor, Cardale, the, the benighted Cardale Jones. Uh, he, Dwayne was just okay, and he benefited a lot from having NFL receivers that he could throw to. So, yeah, I, uh, he might, I'm sure he'll land another spot in the NFL somewhere, but, you know, uh, uh, sorry, Dwayne, uh, you just weren't that good. <laughs> Not, you weren't an NFL guy, I don't think. Uh, so that's the end of Dwayne down in Washington. And then late night, the Packers, uh, they, they, they still look like they're the best. Uh, they really, uh, you know, was it the snow? Did that make them play better? Who knows? But they, they pretty well throttled Tennessee, so that was a W. So that's a 500 day for us. We, well, uh, you know, it could have been worse. I mean, let's put it this way. When it was looking like we might go 0 and 5, and I'm getting pretty angry around uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday. Um, you know, my wife makes a ill-timed comment, uh, which I'm sure she doesn't realize it. You know, why is he so angry? Well, it's because you're like running around thanking me because I picked uh, uh, the uh, Jaguars, which in your mind means you're guaranteed to cover with your Bears. Uh, you know, it, yeah, you're, you're losing five in a row. Okay, guess what? That pisses me off. Shazam, it does. You know, I don't think my wife gets that. But, oh well, you know, we won the last three games, so that makes us feel better. 
All right, what's next? More, 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 right? We always going for more. Uh, I throw this in there in case somebody, uh, one of our uh, subscribers, Will. Will wants to uh, hear me talk about politics. Um, Will, man, my time has gotten so limited. And that's one of the reasons why we've been losing is because we're not handicapping uh, correctly. We're trying to jam it in and find time to talk politics. So uh, the politics is definitely going by the wayside. I don't know if it's going to go all the way by the wayside, but yeah, I, sadly, I just can't be all things to all people. Uh, there's only so many hours in the day. Um, and so... Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, uh, but like I said, that political stuff's hard work. You know, you really have to research uh, what you're talking about or it's so easily picked apart by uh, the other side who has done the research and then, you know, you're, oh, you're a liar. You know, it's, no, I'm not a liar. I'm just mil mi uh, misinformed because I didn't do the research. Uh, but, you know. Anyway, all right, what do we got here? We got three games for you. We got two college basketball games and then the big Monday night game. Um, let's go to the Valley. Let's go to the Missouri Valley. This is a, a 5 o'clock Eastern game, so you'll have an hour or two. You, this is your reward subscribers who'd like immediately click on the video as soon as you're alerted to its presence. Uh, so you get a, a bonus here because this will only be live for an hour or two before they tip off. Drake is undefeated, and they are at Terre Haute. Did I pronounce that right? Terre Haute? Terre Haute, Indiana, home of Indiana State, former school of Larry Bird so many, many, many years ago. Now it's just some school in the valley, basically. Um, we think we got a strong coaching edge here. Uh, Darian DeVries coaches Drake uh, in his short tenure at Drake. This dude has covered just about every damn number. He, you know, he's covering it like 65%. It's crazy. Indiana State, they've got a guy that's just so. Every year they put out a list of coaches on the hot seat in the Valley, and this dude's there. Greg Lansing, hot seat. So they, they, they were playing a lot now with these back-to-back -back games. Uh, you know, COVID, you know, our, our reward, COVID. So I guess to, and I have no idea, you know, the science behind uh, what we're doing here, how this prevents people from dying. <laughs> but, you know, they're playing games like they just played. They just played last night. Uh, uh, Drake hammered these guys by 30. Now they're turning right around less than 24 hours, going right back into the same arena, and they're going to play again. And, Drake is only a four-point favorite. Again, I, 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 you know, this is a COVID play, I, and I've been wrong right up down the line on the COVID stuff. I don't see why Indiana State, who's, you know, less than 24 hours ago was 30 points worse than Drake, is suddenly going to make this a close game. So, you know, I had one of these earlier in the year, and we lost. Uh, so we're going to take Drake. Going to take Drake to go 11-0. and 0. Um, I guess I'm curious to see what happens here, you know. <laughs> like I said, I don't see why. It's less than 24 hours. What kind of adjustments can you make in less than 24 hours? They just kicked your ass by 30 points. Uh, so I'm sure there's an answer. It's going to be made clear to us soon enough. This I found interesting. This this will be a TV game on at 8 o'clock. I think it's on the Big Ten Network, if not FS1 or one of the Fox channels. Um, Michigan State now, which we had over the weekend and lost. They're playing Minnesota, who we had over the weekend, and won. Uh, and the game's out at Minnesota. Um, gosh, I mean, Minnesota played so heroically. Against Iowa, I, I, I'm, I, you know, I, I kind of feel like I owe it to them to play them again. Uh, um, and, and I guess that's what we're going to do. Uh, Michigan State looked like shit against Wisconsin. They just didn't look, they didn't play like Michigan State. I looked at the box score and I thought, yeah, 
yeah, you know what? This is not a Michigan State box score. Where's the rebounding? Where's the fouls? Where's the toughness? I think they ended up with like two steals and no blocks for the whole game. It's like, what kind of defense did you play against Wisconsin? None. So I, I, I just don't know that this is the Michigan State team that you're used to. Uh, uh, so we're catching two and a half at home with Minnesota. There's some real talent on that Minnesota team. That all, um, It's not Austin Carr. I keep calling him that. Uh, Marcus Carr. You know, that dude can really play. Uh, so I think that that Minnesota, let's put it this way. Michigan State is worse than Iowa. Minnesota just beat Iowa. Um, I think there's some value there at two and a half. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, I would make this like a pick em type game. Uh, Michigan State, you know, it's an empty arena, but Michigan State has to travel to get in there. So I think that's a little bit of a handicap. Uh, I, I think there's some value here with Minnesota. I, I, I'm, I'm in the minority on this one, the way the number's moving. Uh, the money's coming in on Michigan State. I guess the feeling being that, all right, Izzo's lost two to, in conference to start. He ain't losing three. He's had success in the past against Minnesota. So he's going to go out there and take care of business and do what he always does. Um, I considered that. I just think that uh, there's just a little more value here with Minnesota. So we're going to be... Play him again, play the home dog again, see if the magic is still there in the barn left over from Christmas. All right, Monday night, we got Bills, we got Patriots. Bills are heading to the playoffs. The Patriots are heading home. Um, what do we make of this? I mean, I, I was thinking about this for, you know, overnight. I slept on this. It's like, wow, you know, Belichick's out of it. What, what? This is like never happened to him. I thought of that Star Trek scene with the Kobayashi Maru where they have to go through this simulation where there's no way to win and you've lost and you're supposed to teach you how to lose and how to be a failure. I thought, well, wow, Belichick's never taken the Kobayashi Maru. He's never lost. So here he is in a meaningless game. What's he going to do? Is he going to... Will he even bother to play his players? Will he just sit home? It, 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 you know, they were talking like they would bench Newton and start Stidham, but I guess they're not doing that. They're going to play Newton. Um, I don't know. I've, they, what I basically came down with was if Belichick's going to give an effort, it's going to be on Monday Night Football. You know, he's going to – you're going to get maximum Belichick, you know, just like, just like the Who poster. The who? Maximum R&B. You're going to get maximum Belichick tonight. Uh, that's, that's what I think. Uh, if he's going to take it easy on somebody, if he's going to do the honors for somebody, it's going to be next week. Uh, and, and, and where, you know, he's going to let, uh, you know, he's got, let's put it this way, he has a tough game against the Bills. Uh, he's going to play hard against the Bills. Because if he had his druthers, he'd rather his buddy down in Miami, Flores, get the, get the division rather than the Bills. That's what I'm thinking. So he's going to play hard against the Bills. Uh, we're getting seven and a half. That number has floated up to seven and a half in some places now. You got to take the, 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 the Patriots. You just have to. I mean, that half, you know, if, if, if nothing else... Puts it over the top. The half does. Uh, you know, you just got to go there. It, it, it's He has such a great record. The first game they played out in Buffalo was a complete fist fight that only a late Newton fumble kept that game from going into overtime, if not having the Patriots win it outright. I think these two opponents are closer than seven and a half. Make no mistake, the Bills are better. But the Patriots maybe lose by a field goal again. Maybe they lose by a touchdown, which would be just enough. 
So, Patriots. So, that's what we got here for your Monday. We got Drake from Des Moines, Iowa. We got Minnesota uh, up in Minneapolis, uh, wherever they're from. They're from Minneapolis, I think. And then uh, the Patriots, the Patriots with the seven and a half. All right, week of college bowl games that's coming up. Uh, we got Ohio State Friday, Clemson. That's the, oh, I don't even want to think about it. That's a game that's, uh, I don't want to get too wrapped up with that one because I want that one bad. But, you know, I know we're not likely to get it. So I'm trying to, like, pretend it's not there. Uh, you know, you got the other uh, semifinal. Uh, you got the uh, last week of the NFL coming up this weekend. Uh, some bowl games in between. Uh, college basketball starting to get rolling. It's good sports time. It's good sports time. So, you know, we're locked inside in the East Coast. Well, I guess we'll watch sports. So thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Hit the like button. That makes me feel good. And when I feel good, I handicap better. So see, that's how you can help me help you. And if you really like to, you can hit the subscribe button. It won't kill you. And that's all we have. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Thank you.